I should make a video called why I stopped showing in galleries because I did like because I had my work in an amount of galleries I had like the collage stuff that I show you guys I've shown that stuff yeah like I mean it's not like nobody makes money doing oil paintings but it's like it's not that there's like nobody making a living doing that but like could you get all of those people in a reasonably sized like holiday in conference room like would they all fit in there yes and there's just not like a lot of growth in that industry do you know what i mean but yeah like i've shown in galleries i've had stuff go all over the country i've had stuff shown overseas i've sold stuff to collectors i've written artist statements i've updated my art resume i've had a business account with ups the artists know you know what i'm talking about i just kind of got to a point where i was like oh this is for rich people okay it's just like not sustainable um, like, the, the final verdict, like, monetarily, like, completely unsustainable. I lost money every year. And I was showing all over the place. I was selling paintings pretty regularly. But, like, the amount of m expenses that I had for shipping and application fees and professional memberships, you know, etc., the kinds of canvases that you have to, you either, like, if you want to show in galleries, you have to finish the sides of the paintings. Those things have to be framed. And, like, it is way too expensive to frame shit. Like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. So, what I would do instead was I would buy the gallery canvases that have, like, mm, two to two and a half inch, like, sides that are also like canvas wrapped and then you paint the sides as part of the painting and then you don't have to get it framed but those canvases are significantly more expensive uh than even the regular professional grade it's less expensive than framing it would be but it is like you know things if you're doing stuff for fine art like gallery showings like things have to be done a specific way and uh unfortunately the specific way is like more expensive <laughs> because you are asking people to pay an amount of money i mean i was basically doing the equivalent of like a musician doing a van tour and i was really hustling and kind of got to like a musician with a nicer van level <laughs> I wasn't, like, just schlepping in the broken down van. Kind of got to the, like, nicer van. Maybe there's, like, one person with you helping kind of level. Um, before I essentially gave up on it. Because I just couldn't sustain it. Because in addition to, like, all of the expenses, there is an incredible amount of admin to do all that like you can't you absolutely cannot offer a painting to a gallery that is already in consideration for a different show that is a, a huge no-no you can't do that and so like you have to keep track of what is entered at what and like when the notification deadline passes so, so they'll give you like a notification deadline and it's basically like a kill date essentially where it's like after this date if we have not talked to you we're not going to and then at that point you can pick the piece up and start submitting it other places but then you have to keep track of a lot of dates you also have to constantly rewrite your um your artist statement because you want to make sure that the artist statement like appeals to the specific show that you're trying to uh, submit to. And so that means constantly like writing and rewriting your submissions. Like, you know, I did grant proposals. I did a proposal for a residency. Um, like, you know, so it like you're you're not just doing all of like the admin on submitting to galleries, but like to be to, if you want to go up up a level, then you have to start 
submitting to like residencies and you have to start submitting to try to get grants and um that's the level where i was just like i i i can't do this i cannot go any further with this because the amount of admin that it was taking to sustain even musician at a slightly nicer van and maybe one person to help part-time level was basically meant that I couldn't like make art anymore like it was taking up all of my time and I no longer had the ability to make anything because all of my time was taken up with like uh, tr trying to like run this like absolutely relentless rat race of like just keeping all the plates spinning um and, it, and it's a lot like people people who haven't haven't done it people who have they know um but people who haven't done it i don't know how people think artists get into art shows they probably just don't think about it which is fine unless you already have an in which i don't then you kind of like need to um you have to get out there and kind of hustle and get your stuff in front of somebody and you just have to keep doing it and 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 like keep in mind all this time i'm selling paintings to people i'm and i'm not just doing galleries i'm selling the paintings to people out of bars i'm not being choosy <laughs> Especially at the beginning, when it was the broken down van part, I was just like, if you'll take these paintings, I will come there and hang them up. And, and I sold paintings that way, too. I'm constantly diminishing my stock of paintings. But there's so much admin that I can't make more paintings. It kind of became unsustainable at a certain point. Four Seed says it's 90% admin. It's so much admin. That's the other thing that made me think, like, this has got to be for, like, people who don't have a, like, full-time job, you know? Like, they're either being supported by a spouse or, like, a parent or something. Because it is so much time that there's no fucking way you can have a job and do all this and make the art like you can't there's not enough time yeah i was like in a show that got written up in the philadelphia inquirer they specifically mentioned one of my pieces like i was doing fine i was on the treadmill you know i was doing the thing i was getting out there and i just like got to a point where i was like i i cannot sustain this and i need i need to paint if I didn't need to, like, work for a job, I probably would have kept doing it because, like, I was doing pretty good. Um, I was getting a nice reception. People like the pieces. Um, I think they're good. I can't even say I had to pick between, like, showing art and making art because, like, I was gonna run out of art. <sighs> Eventually. When people talk about, like, modern art, they, like, mostly don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Because, like, I mean, first of all, like, do you mean modernism? I know that you don't, but I'm just being a dick about it. Because um, I know you don't know anything. If you're complaining about modern art, I, I don't think you know what you're talking about. Because we've been in postmodernism since, like, the 90s. Um, like, it's not been modern art for an amount of decades like we were we were i think we're in post post at this point that's just not even a thing um but like you know i just wanted to be pedantic about it because like i don't know fuck those people honestly they, they never have like legitimate complaints like you there are legitimate complaints to be had about the state of the modern art today like, if you mean, like, the state of current art, and not martyrism. Um, but, like, the, there's a lot of complaints to be had about this current state of, art, of, like, fine arts. And I think one of the things to be said about it is that, like, working class people are, like, shut out of the art world at, like, the higher levels. Because of all the shit that I just said. MFAs are, like, kind of a dead end 
at this point because like they, they there's not jobs and like there's not grants and you know you can't show because of all the admin and you don't have the ability to like like how are you supposed to gain entry to this you know like what's wrong with it is that like it's only rich people and nepo babies that can do it at this point because the fucking rent's too high to not have a job people back in the day during the actual modernist period those people the rents were reasonable you could like work a part-time job and have a f couple of roommates and get by fine and like people had time to make their art like it's fucking not really it's just not like that no more how are you supposed to do all that admin like hire a secretary not have a job i mean none of the solutions make any sense with how time and money work if you're not already someone who doesn't need a job because it costs it it doesn't just cost time it costs money i am not kidding about having had a like corporate ups account for shipping paintings all over the damn place and like you have to send them a prepaid like slip to ship it back and like because like i was selling paintings but i did not sell all the paintings that i showed you never do and the amounts of them are always going to come back you got to pay for that shipping too it's not just a time sink it's like also not cheap we don't got guilds no more we don't got no like patronage system no more you know Certainly, if the evangelical church gets into power, they're definitely not going to patronage up some good art. Like, have you seen the shitty-ass movies they make? Oh my god. I've never seen a less a group of less artistically inclined people in my entire life. Southern Baptists will never have uh, good artists. Ever. Because the kind of person that you have to be to want to truly pursue art is not going to be able to stay in the Southern Baptist Church. Like, those things don't work together. Because, like, it's not like the world makes it super easy to be an artist. You know, you really have to want to do it. God knows, like, people are not really uh, trying to make it that much easier. Talking with other artists is always extremely chill, though. I love that. Dame, dame, dame.